Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another edition of MF3 Showcase. I'm here now with my silent producer in the back there. As you can see, he's uh, eyes on, eyes on. Um, this edition is uh, live from Saturn. Uh, this is actually, um, I'm doing our thumbnails and uh, releasing it a day or so after our release. So you can actually watch me draw the thumbnail that we use for uh, the show. So, uh, in, uh, n n n oh, 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 silent producers wanted me to move on. Look at him. Look at him. He wants me to move on. He wants me to move on right there. He's like, hurry up, hurry up. We've got a time wasting. All right, he's out again. All right. So I started, uh, I've been starting the sketches a little bit earlier, so it doesn't take that long. So the the one that we're going to be going over um the show that we recorded was thor uh, love and thunder so i decided to do kind of a fun thing with my thing oh my glasses always kind of like reflect but i'm sorry i gotta use them so um here we go get ready silent producer all right so this is what uh what i have sketched out of course you got thor in the background dun, 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 dun. us in the foreground i'm probably going to start with us and get us out of the way all right here we go so we're going to be talking about on the show uh love and thunder uh, we all watched the movie and uh I, you know, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. I really was. I didn't think that I was going to enjoy it as much as I did. I really didn't think that it was going to be, um, that good. I don't know. I just didn't for some reason. Um, but in the end I was, uh, pleasantly surprised. And I don't know if everyone feels that way. I'm sure there's a lot of people that really like the Thor franchise. Um, I kind of do. I mean, I'm not, it's not even like, I don't even have too much bad to say about, um, about two, right? But um, the only thing I don't really care for is I really don't like the direction they took him in such a, a comedic way. But, it it works in this movie. I don't know if anyone has seen this movie, but definitely go ahead and check it out. Um, I do the podcast with, of course, uh, Cody, um, and and uh, Drew, and we have a pretty good time. We all bring a little bit different to the show. Um, I hope that you guys, if you do watch it. Definitely subscribe. Definitely uh, drop in some lines, right? Uh, you can go to the to the Discord and and uh, have fun with it there. Talk to us there. We go over a lot of stuff. Um, um, we go over a lot of different shows. We we have a pretty good amount right now. Um, of shows that are already on um, from me and Cody and also with Drew. So I want you guys to check it out. This one was good. Like I said, I really, I was pleasantly surprised. I still had my problems, of course, with certain aspects of it. But overall, I think uh, it's not too bad. I'm I'm a big one. I I I mean, I enjoy the special effects and the CGI. There's a lot of people that really don't like the CGI in in uh, Marvel movies. You know, it's kind of one of those things where you're always going to disappoint a purist. You know, you might have people that are really um kind of into the old school special effects, right? Which 
I'm not putting any hate on them. I, I, I like them. I think they have their, their place. But in all fairness, I mean, we wouldn't even be able to have universes like we're seeing without it. And I'm not talking just about the MCU because a lot of people get all bent out of shape about the MCU. And it's all fake and CGI. And I mean, what what would you want? How would you do Endgame? How would you do all these other movies um, old school like that? Really? You're going to do miniatures? We're going to go back to miniatures and stuff? Now, I know they do some of it. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to upset anyone. But um, I don't know. I am kind of pro... CGI. If it's done right, right? That's the key. If it's done correctly, I think uh, Marvel does a great job. Um, you know, partly to do, probably because of, you know, who they've acquired over the years. Um, but Either or. Now I like, um, you know, I like Thor 1. I think it's cool. Like I said, I just don't really like the the way, you know, comedy route that they took. But I understand why. You know, you have, you have it linked with the Guardians of the Galaxy, which was kind of like that. And what's so funny is I always think that, okay, when's Marvel going to blow it? I thought they were going to blow it with Ant-Man. And so I was like, oh, here we go. They're going to blow it with Ant-Man. And, uh, and they didn't. I mean, I liked Ant-Man. I mean, I'm not saying it was their best movie, but I liked it. Me, I could talk about Marvel all day long. I used to love comics, I used to collect comics. Then, um, then when they started getting into crossovers, uh, that's when I kind of left there at that at that point. Um, not because I didn't like crossovers; it's just it takes a lot to um, it takes a lot to follow crossovers. It takes money to it. I mean. You gotta have the money to buy every book just to find out what's happening with Peter Parker, and it kind of gets uh, not old but tough. So I was more collecting for the covers that I liked and the stories that I really enjoyed. Um, and then I kind of backed off of from a long, a long time. I wasn't like one of these people that are like extreme experts you know you have people that are just like insanely knowledgeable i have a good friend of mine J justin oh, i don't know if i can say his last name i think it might endanger him no i'm just kidding um but my friend justin he is one of my good friends i've known him for man over 20 something years and he is just one of those phenom people those people that just know so much about um about Marvel. He's an actual comic book broker. So he sells art and um, buys art and resells it. And, you know, he just bought a, like a, a Batman page and he'll know what characters are in what issue and everything. So he's, uh, he's really good at that. Me, not so much. Nope, not so much. Like, I know somewhat about the characters, but he is always my go-to. He's the guy that I always say, Hey, Justin, what's going on with this character? And he'll go, Oh, you know, an issue, blah, 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 when he first showed up, and which is pretty neat. I wish I had that ability, but I do not. Now I can draw it. I draw all day long, man. You give me the right reference, it doesn't really matter to me. I draw it.
I mean, of course, I like drawing some characters more than others. I've always liked drawing Wolverine. One of these days, I think I will have to uh, draw Wolverine for everybody. I've always liked Wolverine. All right. Now I'm kind of flying through this because I usually do for our, for our, um, what is this called? Thumbnail. I usually do because I just want to kind of, um, not get through it right away. I just want to, um, I just want to, uh, you know, not make it so long for you guys. That's all. Almost got like a little Judge Dread thing going on with this guy. All right. I feel like that. I, I'm kind of digging it. Like I said before, I've told you guys all before, um, I, uh, this is not a tutorial. I'm not, uh, I'm not into doing tutorials. It's not that I can't, I just, you know, I do so many things unique that I don't, um, I don't want to lead anyone wrong, basically. You know, where they're like, oh, I learned from this guy. And, you know, I don't want to do that. I want you guys to, uh, I want you to realize that your art is yours. And it doesn't really matter what people think. If people might think that you're wrong or it doesn't matter. It's your art. And they can go suck an egg. All right, let me back off a little bit. See how that looks. That doesn't look too bad. What do you guys think? All right. Now this is, believe it or not, you're going to trip, but this is probably the first time I've ever drawn Thor. It's not a character that people ask me to draw, believe it or not. So for me, this is the first time I'm ever drawing him. So you're in for... A treat, right? And like I said, if I was going to draw him, um, 
not as cartoony. I, I think I would take a different kind of approach to it. But um, like I said, this is strictly for the podcast. Now I know in the comics, I think I could be mistaken, um, but I don't think I am. It's that, of course, the handle is not made out of Groot. And in the end, another Thor takes up the big axe in another universe or something like that. I'm sure there's people out there that know. Okay, I think we're good. We're moving right along, like Kermit would say. All right, <laughs> there we go. All right, let's move on here. How is our, look at our silent producer. I think he thinks it's okay. All right, we'll move on. Now I did this more in a sketch mode because I wanted to kind of get it down what I wanted first. You guys know me. I like thicker lines. Plus I want to match up to what the other characters down here are. So I'm just going to thicken up some of the lines so I can get a little bit of a continuity or like the same shapes over here. Now me, like I said, I've never minded Thor. It's just funny because you know, when I was a kid, Thor just wasn't a draw. It's not like people were running out there to buy Thor comics. It just wasn't happening. And I understand the whole thing with with Marvel and you know, can't they couldn't use certain characters, so they had to um, kind of settle with like kind of B-rated characters, you know, which they did with Thor and all that. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. You guys are like, what? Okay. All right, I'm going to color a little bit different today. I think I'm going to fill in. I think I'm going to go from behind there. Because I got a lot of disconnecting lines. So. All right. Now, I don't know how many of you guys out there, you know, like Thor. I, mean, I hope so. I mean, he's not that bad of a character. I mean, the whole arrogant stuff is kind of funny. You know, and in this movie, it really didn't get as old as I thought it would. It kind of did in some aspects of it um, in the beginning, but overall, it wasn't too bad. It was actually pretty funny how they uh, how they did that. So um, be prepared; it is 
kind of like that in some aspects. But that's how they made the character now. So the character now is kind of like that arrogant guy. So you kind of got to get just used to it, right? Some of the only, the few characters in Marvel that has, has a cape or can have a cape and you kind of buy it. You know, I don't know why you just do because it doesn't have to, right? So. I mean, realistically, but but I like the fact that that Marvel, I don't know, is Marvel sometimes takes the the characters and stuff that they do, and I think really thinks out how it's going to come out visually on in the movie. Now, what's funny is that's not always how Marvel was. Now, of course, if you look at some of their past movies before they learned how to make movies, you couldn't say that. Um, Loaf, Gofrave, whatever his name is, his Punisher, brutal, you know. And it goes on both sides because in the end, you know, DC was the same, you know. You know, back in the day and, you know, the, the swamp things and the flashes of the world and the, you know, and you almost, you tried to buy it as a kid. You really did. You tried to go, hey, wait a minute, that's cool. Because that's all we saw, you know? Like the Spider-Mans and stuff like that. I mean, that's all we saw were the cheesy dudes in the costumes, right? But they they have done so good. That's another thing we wouldn't have without CGI. We wouldn't have Spider-Man look as good as he does. Now, I know there'll be arguments on that with the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. And in no way I'm trying to rag on the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man um, because I was actually in that movie. I was an extra, me and Justin Porter. Uh, Justin Porter actually called me and said, dude, they're filming a Spider-Man movie and we could be extras. Say no more right? I was like, you say no more. We didn't even get paid or anything, but I mean, who cares? We were like, who cares if we get paid or not? Um, we were in two scenes. We were in, uh, but I only can be seen in one scene, but we were in, uh, we were there for the unity fair and we were there for uh, the wrestling. Now, what I do have to tell you is, um, is Macho Man Savage legitly probably one of the nicest guys that I ever met. Now, of course, he's no longer alive, but <coughs> one of the coolest guys. And what's funny is he talks like that. You wouldn't think so. You'd be like, really? He talks like that? But he does. Uh, in between them changing roles or reels, I went down there to talk to him. And uh, and it, it, it's funny because I I had him sign a book because that's all I had. Because I was reading the uh, a Deathlands book, um, which if you guys know me by now, uh, it's like I love that series. I have a lot of books. We did actually, um, we did one of those books on on Life from Saturn when it wasn't Life for Saturn, when it was back chapter one. But I did um, a Deathlands book. But I digress. So anyway, he was there in between. We could walk around. It was on the Sony lot. So I decided... I'm going to go down there 
and uh, meet him. And no joke, walk up to him. I said, man, big fan. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, man. You, you want me to sign this? Oh, yeah. That's, I mean, it was, it wasn't funny because it was really cool because, I mean, I'm meeting, you know, Macho Man Sa Savage, you know. Oh, yeah. Anyone that watched wrestling back in the day, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. He was the best. But, uh, but he was hella cool. Uh, Toby. So, as we move on, as I digress, no, I'm just kidding. I have no ill will towards anybody. Uh, you know, some actors, you know, they get into it and they're busy and, and they just kind of want to ignore the fans and, and, uh, you know, cause they got a lot on their plate. So that's kind of how it was. But Macho Man, hell of a cool guy. Hell of a cool guy. Uh, but it was fun being on, on the set, but it was pretty fun. But, I mean, they wouldn't, we got to see the suit first and all this stuff, but, you know, the, the, the thing is, it's like you wouldn't be able to pull off what you pull off today. Um, without CGI. It just wouldn't be possible. Well, I don't know if it would be possible, but you know what I mean. All right. Well, I actually went and saw this in the movies. Believe it or not, um, I had... I didn't... I did, I'll be honest with you. I did not see it um, prior to us having to check it out uh, on the show. Uh, it was the only Marvel movie that I was kind of had reservations about. I kind of didn't want to see it. Um, and I think maybe, honestly, maybe that's why I enjoyed it so much. Because I didn't go in with any high expectation. I just went in just thinking, okay, I'm going to check it out, and uh, and we'll go from there, which I did, and I enjoyed it. Now, if you're watching this, and hopefully you saw the movie, so please, if there's any kind of uh, spoiler, you should have already seen the movie. If you haven't seen the movie, and you're like, I don't want to hear about the movie, I, I have... I haven't seen it yet, Frank, and you ruined it for me. Then you might want to turn this off. Go watch the movie. Then come back and let's uh, let's redo this because there are going to be some, uh, some spoilers, okay? Okay, so everyone that has stepped out of the room or is, you know, okay with listening to some of this. Okay, what was funnier than anything were the goats. Loved the goats. Now, what's funny is that is actually from, from, um, that is from the comics, I guess. So it's pretty neat that they put that in there. But I thought that I would get tired of them, but dude, they cracked me up. I really thought I'd get tired, but I didn't. Um, it was so good. So definitely, uh, that's something that you definitely will like. Well, I hope you would like. I enjoyed it. See, if you notice, like sometimes like I feel it and sometimes I don't. When I don't, I kind of want that, that rough look that sometimes the little gaps that you see and the overages of colors. Um... I just, you know, this time, that's what I'm doing. All right. Now I have to fix it later because, as you guys know, sometimes I have to uh, color the back, but we'll do that. All right. Now... 
with Duncan here, of course I put him with scrolls because, you know, he's a professor. So he, uh, you know, teaches. So I wanted to make him the have the scholar, right? And we're all come, kind of like, the, in the movie they went to a place where all the gods were. And in that place there were all sorts of gods from different uh, places. The Egyptians, you know, they had all sorts of them, which was kind of cool. So, so I figured I'd do us as some of those people. Now, it's funny, me personally, I like the fact on how how Marvel has made, has made, uh, and I don't know if it's changed, but how they've made some of, um, how they made some of the, um, the characters, meaning the fact that, you know, you know, in the end, you know, the God of Thunder and everything like that. But technically, they're not. They're just um, aliens that, you know, from another world that they have strength that we have, you know, tapped this whole thing of them being uh, gods when they're really not. I, in, I like that. It explains kind of you know, what we have and Greek mythology without, you know, making it into something and causing political strifes and everyone going, yeah, but what's that, you know? Um, what about the real God and everything like that? So I'm, I'm happy that they, that they did that, me personally. Now, I don't know if it's changed because, like I said, in this movie you see Zeus and that was... Maybe one of the disappointing points I had in this whole thing, but, um, and the way they brought Hercules in, but that's a whole, that's a whole nother, nother thing to talk about. And I don't know if I got the time. Um, and you guys might think something else of it. You might go, ah, what's the big deal? But that's, and I, and it could be, that's what I mean about that comedic aspect that they've they kind of lend to the movie you know so and trust me some parts are funny you know you have the axe that's jealous of the the hammer um i think bringing what's her name in there as thor was um kind of predictable if you know a little bit of the back, what's happening. I heard that um, she wasn't going to do another Marvel movie and the director convinced her to come back. So with the situation the way it is and them doing what they did with the character just kind of was too telegraphed for me. Knowing the backstory, you know what I mean? Because then you were like, oh, all right, that's how they're going to do it, you know? That's how they're going to get away with it. I should better say a bad word. But other than that, though, it was pretty good. Definitely watch this show. I think uh, you'll enjoy it. I like, we tend to, um, we tend to go off topic sometimes, but it's always fun. And it's within fun. Now, if you have little kids, I don't know. Um, take a listen to it first. I mean, we don't go out of our way to curse or anything like that. But maybe some of the content might not be uh, kid-friendly. But I definitely uh, say that you guys should definitely tune in and and listen. Now, I decided to start doing... I decided to start doing, um, I decided to start doing the, uh, the thumbnails on the show because, um, I don't know. I was just like, I'm doing them anyway. So might as well give some more people stuff to look at. And if it lets them 
go listen to the podcast, then hey, why not? So, all right, so hoping you guys are liking it so far. I'm digging it. I, I, but I like all my stuff. I don't let, I don't let people, you know, not down my stuff, but I don't let people, uh, you know, all oh, your stuff sucks or whatever. I don't really care. This is, it's, for me, it's me doing it. Some people like it. Some people won't. And I mean, the in the end, the biggest people that I want to like it, of course, are the people that listen to the show and everyone else. You know, I ho- I hope I hope they listen to it, and I hope they like the drawings, and I have fun. It represents us, and it kind of clowns us at the same time. Um, you know, I didn't know to, what to do with Cody this time, but I think I did okay. Okay. Anyway, so, um, like I said, I, w- I would definitely go see it. Um, I have a movie theater down the street from my house that's only like $9 to see a movie. Um, and, I mean, I've watched 3D movies in there for like, it's like 11 bucks. It's one of those theaters. And I think everybody in the world has a theater like that. Now, some people don't like to go to them because... Maybe they got older seats and you're used to the ones that recline that they bring food to you and everything. And that's okay. Some people want to just definitely just watch those and, and, uh, and that's, that's the experience they want, which I totally get. I, I love that too, believe me. But if I'm going to go see Thor and I don't know if I want to see Thor. I ain't, I'm going to pay that nine bucks. I don't want to pay more than that. Um, now, I like I like watching movies in 3D. That's just me. Now, some people can't because they're glasses and stuff. I think one of the best 3D movies to date that I've seen is, um, is probably... Uh, uh, Avatar, believe it or not. Avatar was ridiculous. It was, and they didn't do too many of the cheesy Elvira 3D things. I just threw my age out there, if anyone can tell me, but any remembers the Elvira show, first of all, and then remembers the 3D specials and stuff they had. And you'd go out to 7 Eleven and get your glasses and, and, uh, and, you know, you do, you get your, your 3D glasses and you'd sit in front of the TV and it was supposed to be 3D. And they would do these like cheesy kind of 3D things and things would come out at you and things like that. It was really cheesy. Actually, there's a video game about monsters that are attacking the world and stuff. And, and uh, I think it was, I don't know what system it was for, but uh, yeah, it wasn't good. I've always been a kind of a big fan of 3D. I have no idea why. I always have. I don't know, you could leave me some comments. I mean, if anyone prefers or likes watching it in 3D. Now, I don't, I didn't do any references for his hammer. So please, uh, forgive moi. Like I said, just trying to clear this out and do it pretty quickly. Because like I said, for the podcast, it's not that I don't want to 
do legit stuff. That's not what I'm trying to say, but um, most of the time we're doing the show and then I got to do this right away. So we kind of then have the ability to talk about it and different things like that. Now we also have a Discord. So if you wanted to go talk to us on a Discord, you definitely can. Um, I, I am not on the Discord as much as I'd like. Um, and it's not like I don't like the Discord. The problem I have is that along with these things that you see me doing here and you're going, wow, guy draws like three times a week and all that stuff. I also work. Um, and my job right now, I'm working some pretty crazy hours. But um, I really enjoy it. Um, I work at a hospital and I am their materials manager. So I buy everything and make sure we get all the best pricing and all that fun stuff. All right, now let's move on. And uh, I've been in the healthcare industry for a long time. Um, I started when I was a kid and just kind of moved up and tons of experience with different companies and all sorts of fun. I kind of like this Thor, how it came out. Now, like I said, like this is like a real fast version, but it would definitely be one of the first times that I drew Thor. So, I ain't even mad at me. Oh, I mean, for. Considering the time frame, considering just a fast kind of sketch, I'm actually pretty happy with it. Not saying that anyone else is. You guys might be like, that really sucks cheeks. But for me, I'm digging it. And like I said, if you see me do some of the anime things I do, I definitely am doing a more detailed slow down kind of version to it um, to get more detail in it and things like that because those I might end up printing um, I'm looking at some of the ones that you see me do um, me being able to believe it or not um, Uh, some of the ones that you see, I can actually put on shirts and things of that nature. So the ones that you see, that's why I do them like that. And I do a little more detail on them, spend a little more time on them, you know, so I can do what I need to do. Now, I'm not even done with this one because, believe it or not, I had an idea that I was going to do in this one um, that we'll see how it comes out. Hopefully, I could pull it off. I did it with um, I did it with the Demon Slayer one that I wanted to do, that, and that one came out pretty good. Okay. All right, and it's coming out good. I'm liking it a lot. Now I do all this detail stuff because I, I like it. I like the way it uh, comes out. Me personally, so. Um.
And what I'm doing here, you guys have seen me do this before, is I'm filling the, the small spaces that I told you that I have in the background that I do not want to show up. All right. All right, so what do you guys think so far? I'm liking it pretty much. Uh, silent producer back there. Um, if you listen, he's snoring. He likes it. Okay. See, it's funny how it all comes together. That's what I mean when you're doing your own art. Do your own art. Don't let anyone else mess with you and say anything bad about it because in the end it's yours and uh, take it you know okay now we're gonna do something kind of unique here Okay, let's do this because I want to be able to see what I'm doing. So let's do gray. See, and you can see the the parts that I was talking about on how. Now you can kind of see them. I think this is probably one of the first times that I've done lightning as well. So. I think it's coming out pretty good. Well, he's the god of thunder, right? Now, with me, it's pretty amazing that that they have the people that they have, like like him. It's it's amazing to me that it's really cool that um, it's really cool that they have. Um, that he's been able to, you know, repraise the role or, or do the role. I mean, I think it's this really cool to me. That's one thing I think Marvel has done super well, um, is the fact that they give you the ability or you know or the where you see those characters and that's who they are to you they're those characters you know that's that's the cool thing to me Thank you. 
All right. All right, I'm hoping you guys like this. I'm not done yet. Almost done. Hopefully I haven't bored you guys to death. All right, I hope I haven't because that's not, that was way not my intent. My intent was to have you guys have a good time. Okay, I was doing that for a reason, so we're going to be doing the background probably red. All right. Um, I won't go that big. I like that the circles kind of reminds me of comic books. Oh, didn't like that. to do another layer uh oh sounds like uh the producer is up let's check it out all right here we go then let's do this Like I said, some of this stuff is all experimental. And that's what I mean about how you guys definitely need to experiment. And like I said before, this is the first time I've ever, not the first time, but I've just started using this uh, program. And this is a, a, a paint program. And... Uh, I like it. Oh, I don't like that. I want a little dark in there. That's what I want. So let's go. Let's go dark. There we go. Oh, there we go. Kind of like a, like the galaxy there. See, that's that's what I mean. All experimental, guys. 
Like I said, that's not a tutorial though. You guys do your own thing. But me, I do what I do until. Oh, that's coming out cool, huh? At least I think so. Oh, and I got a good idea. I'm going to make it darker around there. And then I'm going to then lighten up around the edges of the thunder. You'll see what I mean. Oh, that's cool. Almost looks like galaxy, right? Okay, so then And then we want to go under it. So let's do 17 airbrush and go all white. And let's just see. Let's see how it comes out. All right, I kind of like it. I kind of like the way it's come out. I hope you guys do too. Now, like I said, I probably have a lot of graphic designers that are seeing what I'm doing and just rolling in their digital graves. But it's the I think it's the the end what matters you know your peace on the end you have people that take forever to do certain stuff right that and that's okay that's their thing they might take forever to do a drawing but when it comes out man it's beautiful it looks like almost a photograph these people just kill it you know so it really doesn't matter to me how long it takes that's just me or how fast it's what it looks like I mean did it come out good that's the whole thing did it come out good that's the whole thing had it come out So I hope you guys liked I hope you guys liked it. Um hope you guys enjoyed it. Um definitely listen to the podcast which will be out tomorrow. And uh like I said, enjoy it. Listen to the podcast. It'll be out tomorrow and let me just move it into position so you guys have a good view of it how does that look that looks pretty good just move it over just a tad all right so this is 
A God of Thunder. Uh, Love and Rockets. No. Uh, Lo Love and Thunder. Uh, this is out in movie theaters now. Definitely come by and see, um, see us at uh, Live from Saturn. Listen to us on YouTube. Uh, you can get the whole uh, review of the movie and everything that we... Um, that we have to say about it it's fun um i hope you guys come out and enjoy it thank you for coming out to watch and another edition of mf3 showcase thanks everybody <laughs>